politics in the country. But prominent political parties have alleged that rigging intentions are behind the mobile services shutdown. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan-led Pakistan Tehreek-e Insaf Party has called the mobile services shutdown an outrageous act of rigging. Meanwhile, former Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto's Pakistan People's Party leaders have also called the shutdown as a beginning of poll rigging. The caretaker government has, however, maintained that all political parties are being given equal opportunities in these elections. The Interior Ministry has set up a control room to monitor election security. Teams from Home Department's police, the Election Commission, are concerned that agencies are monitoring the security situation round the clock through the control room. Pakistan's Election Commission said it was prepared for a possible mobile services shutdown, adding that its systems are not affected by the same. The Election Commission of Pakistan has also established a telephone helpline number to lodge any complaints. The Commonwealth delegation, which was part of international observers present at different polling stations in the country, have also expressed satisfaction with polling. Prominent leaders, meanwhile, headed to polling stations. Former Prime Minister Sheba Sharif cast his vote while appealing, common, appealing to common citizens to also come out and vote. Sheba Sharif is the brother of front-runner candidate Nawaz Sharif of the PMLN. Asifa Bhutto, the daughter of former Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto, also cast her vote while calling on the citizens to step out and vote as well. Top PTI leaders, on the other hand, most of whom remain in jail, cast their votes through postal ballots, former Prime Minister Imran Khan, former Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi, and former Punjab Chief Minister Parvez Elahi, among others. They all voted via mail from Rawalpindi's Adiala Jail, where they are currently lodged. Now, moments after the polls opened in Pakistan, the officials in the country banned the mobile services nationwide. But the question is, how will that affect the voter turnout in the country? Our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik has more. There seems to be considerably less uh, turnout for now, at least on the roads of Lahore. We can't say that uh, certainly for the entire country. Uh, but the news on the ground is that uh, the mobile networks all across the country have been disrupted. They have been shut down owing to the security measures that have been taken that has been confirmed by the Ministry of Interior in a statement issued. Uh, so that really is causing a lot of hindrances and problems for uh, voters and commuters, uh, those who intend on voting because the basic text service is also not available. There's a blanket suspension of mobile networks across the country.